Right, this is going to be part four of the Mr. Gong tutorial and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the other three parts and I hope they've been helpful to you and hopefully this will be the last part as well, okay? In this section I am going to play the left hand a bit further up than you should really play. You should play it down by here, but just for the purpose of the video I'm going to play it one octave higher up, okay? So here we go. start with the right hand and I'll call out the note names as well okay okay it's pretty straightforward it's D sharp and down to D sharp and it goes like that most of the way through okay so it's D sharp 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 C sharp C sharp C sharp D 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 sharp E E F sharp F sharp G 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 sharp F sharp F sharp E D sharp 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 and D sharp Okay I'll play without me speaking this time I hope I haven't confused you with that <clears throat> Okay so here we go it's gonna go like this okay Okay, I'll run through that one more time for you, okay?
Okay, so that's the right hand, and then here's the left hand, okay? It's going to be G sharp, then it's D sharp and B, and D sharp and B again, then it's G sharp, D sharp and B, and D sharp and B again, then it's down to F sharp, then it's D sharp and B, and D sharp and B again, then it's F sharp, and D sharp and B, D sharp and B again, then it's down to E, then it's E and B, and E and B again, then it's down to E, then it's E and B again, and E and B again, and it's down to the B, and we come up to D sharp and B, D sharp and B again, back down to the B, then it's D sharp and B again, and again. So I'll just run through that without me speaking. obviously to put them together right so I'll try and play really nice and slow okay Okay, I'll do that another time for you. And the very last <coughs> uh, section of the piece is sung slightly different. It goes. Now it's really similar to what we've just done, except that you're going to be adding another finger, okay? So it'll be exactly the same as we've just done, 
However, when we play the D sharp, we'll be adding a B with it, okay? So it'll be going something like. Yeah, and when you come to play the C, you'll be playing it with it A sharp as well. So that'll be C sharp and A sharp together. And when you come to play in the E, you play the E and the C sharp together. And when you play F, you play F and D sharp together. And when you play G sharp, you play G sharp and E together. Okay. So when you play the D sharp, you play with a B. When you play the C sharp, you play with the A sharp. When you play the E, you play with the C sharp. And when you play the F sharp, you play with the D sharp. And when you play the G sharp, you play with an E. So as I say, it's exactly the same as the main bit, which goes. But in the last bit, you just add the left, as I just said to you, with your third finger. Okay, so you'd be. I hope that hasn't confused you anyway, but uh, like you see, it's really straightforward. So if you if you get to grips with that bit, just add the letter in, okay? Well, that should be uh, easy enough, uh, the last little bit to learn. So, if you are still confused with our last little section, then maybe I could pop the last few bars up with another tutorial, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, keep uh, practicing as much as you can, and I hope the tutorials have been helpful for you. And thanks for watching, I suppose. Take care. Bye-bye.